Forbidden Woods. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Legend of Wind Waker HD. Last time, <coughs> excuse me, the Great Deku Tree asked us to come into these woods to rescue one of the Koroks named Makar. And that's what we're gonna do. If you try to get close to that thing, then it'll close up, so that's why you have to throw the thing at it. Dungeon map. Yeah, see, here we now have the map. Doesn't tell us where anything is in it yet because we don't have the compass. Alright, let's go! Let's get at him. It's an interesting room. So what you wanna do, take the stick, light it, and just set this thing on fire. Ever since I learned about the quick spin, I've been so happy. I even learned you could do it in Breath of the Wild, it's awesome. Knight's Crest, we're gonna need them. I also belong to my favorite enemy in the entire series, probably. Too bad that wasn't in Breath of the Wild. I won't spoil it for you if you don't know what it is. So you want to make your way back up using these flowers. Fight more of these things. Mess up and actually don't mess up. Okay, now, now we're back. Take this bomb, place it right there. And up here is a treasure chest, I believe. It's probably just rupees. And I don't need the rupees, but we'll get it anyway. Oh, no, it's not. It's probably a treasure chart. But as you can see, we can't go here. We can't get this yet. We will be back here. Blow these little things and make the platform come. Remember the method for getting rid of these guys. Not worried about those rupees. Don't you ever bite me again.
This is a very interesting room. Oh. Actually, I believe there's something interesting. All right. Oh, right. No. Yeah, wrong spot. Never mind. Forget it. Forget it. I know where it is. Yeah, it's up there. We'll check that out in a minute. Now, if you look down here, there's a treasure chest. I'm gonna get it, even though it's just money, probably. Because we're not hurting at all for funds. We can't even carry this. These guys, they don't hurt, deal damage to you, but if too many of them get on you, they will slow you down. And you won't be able to run. Okay. Possibly my least favorite room don't like these things at all let's do this see what's money you don't need it you know I should have gone over there first it just makes more sense but I forgot cuz I always do it this way for some reason Actually, want to come over here before you go over there. We got the compass. We can see what's hidden in the dungeon. Darn. Darn it again. Yeah, I don't like this room. Small key. Room again. Yeah, see? So many of mine, you can't walk fast at all. So, spin attack or roll, get them off you. Got the small key. Now we can go through this door. Another interesting room, not much about it, but still interesting. And here we have a new enemy. These things aren't very hard to fight. Just parry them. 
and they're dead. But if you don't parry them and hit them once, they will put out them little larva things that make you slow. It's annoying to deal with. What could be in this door? Yeah, it's a different variation of this thing we fought in the last room. But here they don't give you the option to parry. When it lunges forward like that, you have to wait for this moment right here. When he jets forward using his abdomen. But you gotta do it just the right time or you're gonna take damage. Come on. Come on. Boom. Special chest. We got the boomerang, set it to and throw it with Y, X, or R. Yeah, we know how to use items. Okay, so we can take off the hammer right now and do the boomerang. When you get out of this room, you gotta hit these two switches. Nice little boomerang tutorial. Also use the boomerang to get rid of these guys' hats. And then throw it again to kill him. If you look up, you will see this grappling spot. We want to do this. Go away. While we're waiting for that thing to come down, let's throw this thing. And open the doors. Calling it Joy Pendant. Yeah, Joy Pendant. I used to hate getting that from chests, but, I, but not until after I realized how important they are. <coughs> excuse, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Another chest over there. We cut all of these vines holding up these spiky things. That should be enough. Another joy pendant. Yep. Called it. Twisty. Let's glide over here. Use this leaf to get rid of those leaves. And here's that pot thing. Line up all five vines, and it crashes through the floor. Yeah. Now then. Before we go down there, there's something. There's We're going to go back and get that chest in one of those first rooms. Yeah. 
Come on. Any magic? Try to spin attack, please. There we go, we got some magic, that's fine. Stay to the edge. <coughs> and we forgot a chest in here. So we'll come we'll get that as we're coming back. Treasure chart. So as I was coming back, I noticed this chest right here, right down there at the bottom one in the room that we'd already been to. It's nothing special because I know it's an optional chest, but we're gonna get it anyway. Actually. Nah, never mind. <laughs> Boomerang can be used to kill these plants instantly. Yep, 20 rupees. Don't need it. Yeah, we go this way. Now we can jump through the hole. This is an optional room, it's just for a treasure chart, but... I mean, hey, why not get the treasure chart? It's gonna be very useful. Can't get him. I was trying to throw it and pick up that thing without having to lock on to it. And it's just gonna disappear, I don't care. Inside of there is the chart. Yeah. 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 
Crap. Well, we cleared the vine that was trapped up in there, and we don't have to go back up there. We just go to this hole. Come on, get around it. Treasure chart. Crap. These things do not hurt you, they just sap your magic power. Just throwing it in there. There's only two places you encounter them, I believe, so you don't have to worry about them too much. So, I, so you're going to hit all five of these switches. Would You want to hit start with this one, then go to this one, because in between this one and this in between this one and this one it's a bigger gap so you won't so your boomerang won't get around in time so do it like that and here we have the boss key And here's my maybe second favorite enemy in this game. Watch this, it's hilarious. I love it. It, it cracks me up. I just <laughs> I love watching them knock each other out. It's so funny. They'll steal their skull necklaces. They're gonna get upset about it. Come on in. Take this dude's spear. And the door up there opened. That one didn't. Because they want you to go through this door. When you blow that thing, this thing's gonna emit wind. Let me, let's make sure. Yeah, we got all the treasure chests in the previous area, so we didn't miss anything. There's one more treasure chest in here, and then the boss. Come on.
magic. That's what I wanted. Okay, here's a boss door. There's a bunch of things in here. I haven't broken them all, I don't think. Here's this magic jar. If you want to go back to the start for whatever reason. Now, before we enter this boss door, I want to tell you something kind of interesting. There is actually a secret way to beat this boss. If you want to find out how it is, I'm going to have a link to that video in the description of this one. So, it's pretty interesting. I, I encourage you to check it out. So let's see. We're gonna need this. Let's get this camera out. A little Maka over there. I want to get a picture of him. Let's just wait. There we go. We got him. Take a picture of this guy right quick. Okay, now we can go. So, easy to, it's pretty simple. Just aim for his tentacles up there with the boomerang. If you take too long, they will grow back. You want to jump out? I didn't do it. But if you did it correctly, you'd be able to get out of there before he closed. Or he closed his flower. And swallowed you. But I didn't do it in time. I wish I did. Oh, there's still another. Get it. There we go, we got him. Swordsman, are you the one who rescued me? You see anybody else around? You have my thanks. When all went dark around me, I thought my time on the earth was over. But why are you here, Swordsman? What? The Great Deku Tree sent you? Oh, that's right. Today's the day of our annual ceremony. Oh, I'm in trouble. I shouldn't be here. I must get out of here immediately. Yeah. We got a hard container. So, let's go into the spirally light thing. Oh, Maka, you have returned safely. I'm sorry, Great Deku Tree. I know you warned us many times, but still I did not listen. <laughs> Do not worry, Maka. You are safe now. Just be more careful from now on. You have done well, Link. I must thank you for your brave deeds. Here is that which I promised you. Please accept it. You received Pharaoh's Pearl, the Earth Spirit, the Great 
the Deku Tree has seen fit to give you this jewel, a treasure of the goddess Feroor. It is my hope that this pearl shall lead you to a fair destiny. All is well, Mokgar. Do not cry. Please play your song for me as you always do. Oh, that's right. We must begin the ceremony soon before the day ends. It's still daylight. You don't have to worry. I'm sorry to keep you all waiting. Let the ceremony begin. Oh, great Link. As my thanks to you, I shall play even harder than I normally do. I hope you enjoy it. Great Deku Tree, this year you have once again produced some splendid seeds. With the seeds, we will continue to spread new forests across the Great Sea. Let's go Koroks, to the sea! See you all next year. Take care. Farewell Great Swordsman, may the winds of chance bring us together again someday. Oh, they will. Okay, we have done all that we need to do here right now. So let's head outside. Die. Do we... Yeah, the mailbox is moving. Good morning. Letters for Link, we have one letter. Here is your letter. Dear Link, if you are reading this letter, it can only mean you have picked it to one of our many post boxes. I am indebted to you. I am very sorry I let you leave without thanking you. Please accept my heartfelt apology along with my thanks. We cannot do much to help you, but we can at least do this. If we get any letters or parcels for you, we will deliver them to a post box near you. If you see any wiggling post boxes, please look inside them. I suppose you have a long way to go before your perilous journey is done. I have included a gift for you with my letter in the hope that you, it might help you. Please accept this small token. I look forward to the day we meet again. May fortune fill your wings from Kamali's father. Why don't, why don't they just say from... Rito Chieftain, or Chieftain's real name, you never know his name, it's just Kamali's father. We got a piece of heart, of total of two, get two more complete another heart and tear. Okay, well, thank you all so much for watching this video. In the next episode, we are going to set, my controller, we are going to set out for the next pearl. There's three of them, and we're about to get the third. So I'll see you all in the next one.